be 30 for Vampy at play, and the Phillies are about to go. All in, the champion Philly Stakes. Set to run. There they go. They're off and Yarra Lee stepped out of the machine last. First to get going is Legacy of Tara. Export Girl also sprung the stalls brilliantly and Admiration Express up there. The pace goes on through the first 200. Over on the inside, fourth is Sessoir from Bon Joy. A length away, Vampy at play. Royal Elite laced up heels, goes back but found herself three deep. She's over on the outside of Mistra Cova. Yarra Lee next on the rail, followed by Penny on the Queen. Last of all is Lyndon Lady in what is becoming a strung outfield in the Champions Phillies with 1,000 left to go. Running them early. Legacy of Tara for Yule. Three quarters of a length in front. Export Girl going up now, sitting at a girth. A length and a half. Admiration Express enjoying a great run. Sessoir is fourth, followed by Bon Joy heeled up. Then came the favourite. Laced up heels trapped out in no man's land. Three deep. Pulls away four now from Royal Elite. Parnham boots up now with Vampia playing. Continues to hold. Laced up heels. Three wide on the course. Royal Elite losing ground over on the inside of Penny on the the Queen. Well back, Mistra Cova, Lyndon Lady, and last is Yarrily at the 500, nearing the home turn. The leader, Legacy of Tara, the Ruffy just in front, Export Girl off their backs. Admiration Express goes up there. In behind them, Laced Up Heels. She's poised, she's ready to go. And now she starts to kick Laced Up Heels. Laced Up Heels hits the front on the outside of Admiration Express. 170 to go. Admiration Express kicks. Laced Up Heels has done a ton of work and she's had enough. Admiration Express Express shakes her off, kicks away. It's an upset win. Admiration Express beat Laced Up Heels, brave to the line. Linden Lady from last, flashing. In behind them, Sessoir, Vampier play, Penny on the Queen, followed by Export Girl, Mr. Kova. A gap to Yarrily and Bon Joy, Royal Elite. And back there, the pacemaker, Legacy of Tara, last to greet the judge. Admiration Express with the perfect run. A 20 to 1 shot has won the champion Phillies and Lucy Warwick has delivered the best of rides for trainer Jason Miller who celebrates one of his great moments with this horse who comes out of a maiden but a luckless maiden last start today afforded terrific run laced up heels the mile and the three deep journey, it certainly told on her over the final 150. As hard as she tried, she just quite couldn't haul Admiration Express in. And in the end, had to concede flying was Lyndon Lady Willie Pike, fourth Sessoir. Vampy at play didn't come on. Penny on the Queen made up some headway and Export Girl battled in 135.72. Home in 35.53, a length and three quarters, a long neck. And a great result here for Admiration Express's trainer, Jason Miller, who's certainly ridden the roller coaster over the last 12 months, of course, with uh, his stable losing a, a couple of real fancies and uh, Admiration Express now gives him a group three by My Admiration from Com C to Sarah Miller R. Bright, T. Coucher, C. George, DNR Dunn, Mrs. N. Hall, L. Chapman, Jason Miller R. O'Day, the Frio Racing Team, the Bean and Cone Team, Nautical Drive, DNS Trimboli, and Miss T. Jeffries, Paul Cook, G. Copland, and the Magpie Rangers, a host of owners, and what a great boost it is for Jason and Sarah Hall here this afternoon. Wonderful win, a wonderful ride. Fantastic performance here by Lucy Warwick. Drew the right gate. She coveted the run and she had the leaders in her sights with the favourite having to do a lot of work. Chris Parnham aboard, a victim of circumstances on the Toronado, a city girl filly. And third Linden Lady by No Say Never from Rock Candy, Grant, Alana Williams and Willie Pike. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the winner of the 2022 Euros Hartley's Champion Philly Stakes for the Jason Miller Stable as she comes back after an absolute gem of a ride by Lucy Warwick 
and here's Britt Taylor and what a wonderful result an uplifting result it is for the Miller stable it certainly is for the Miller stable for the Miller family you would have heard them from Carnup cheering uh, this Philly home I'll grab Jace now Jace she's a maiden she's broken her maiden in the champion fillies how great is this she shouldn't have been a maiden um, she should have won last start um, but yeah, look, I've, I've, um, I've always had a lot of time for her, so uh, that's why we nominated her. And um, yeah, it's. Uh, There's an extraordinary amount of people here in the mounting yard, too. The fair, fair group of owners. Yeah, big crew of owners and a lot of, uh, lot of first time owners, too. So, you know, it's uh, not a bad uh, way to celebrate having your first win, isn't it? So, yeah, all, all good. They're all a good bunch of people. and. Um, it's good to see people getting enjoyment out of it. Just her fourth start today, behind the scenes, has she always shown you that she was a filly that wanted a mile? Um, oh, I've probably learnt more as we've gone along, but you go back through a pedigree, um, a couple of one races, um, Barry's Rabbit, and that we're winning over 2,200. So she's got that stamina on her side, and, um, and she showed that today. I think she... Um, she looked, uh, even at the 200 when one was coming, she just dug deep and she was strong on the line. Champion Phillies, where does this rate for you in your training career? Um, yeah, pretty high. Yeah, no, it's... Um, it's uh, I'm, I've, I, probably uh, I've got a good record in the um, Strickland, but um, um, that's one of my favourite races. But no, this is... Um, it's, yeah, it's, and any, any win's good, and um, when you're winning... Um, group races with fillies, it's even better. What's next for her? Uh, I don't know. We'll, uh, um, it's only her first proper race prep. Um, she's come a long way. I said to one of the owners before, I said when she started at Northern first up, if you had said we'll be in a champion fillies four starts later, I, I, wouldn't, um, I would have probably had a bit of a giggle. But, um, yeah, we'll just see how she pulls up, let the dust settle. Maybe over a few beers tonight, we'll decide where she goes. Sounds like a plan. We'll ask you tomorrow. Well done, Jace. Thank you. There is Jason Miller. Let's get over to Lucy Warwick. Lucy Warwick, 10 out of 10 ride, and it looked as though the filly gave you a, a wonderful ride. Yeah, look, she travelled super. She, um, she was quite green in running. She hung out quite a few times, and I lost a bit of cover. And I was a bit worried about someone sneaking up on her inside. Um, and then even coming to the 600, I, I kind of lost her, and she went out and she wobbled a bit. Um, but, yeah, when she straightened up, she knew exactly what to do. And it looked like the leader legacy of Tara really rolled you along early stages. Yeah, it was a really nice um, run race, and even um, the horse outside the leader went a, rolled into it nice. Um, no, the, the speed was good. Just the way she ran through the line, further than a mile, wouldn't seem to worry. She seemed to settle enough. Yeah, look, she, well, she's only just won her maiden, so there's so much more for this horse, and I'm sure we're um, yet to see a lot more. Great salute after the race, too, for special people. Yeah, there were some real good friends of mine. that I think they've known me since I was born, and I think this is they're in Spiritual Warrior. Um, but, yeah, real good friends. What about this will test you? Um, it's another tricky gate, but, yeah, she can maybe just settle and get some cover and... Um, She's definitely up to him. It just, yeah, depends what, what run we get. First group race of the Pinnacles goes to Lucy Warwick. Well done. Thank you very much. There is Lucy Warwick combines with Jason Miller and the maiden filly, my, by, my admiration. Admiration Express takes out the champion fillies of 2022. And correct weight. That's the fastest champion filly since Miss Rose DeLago's victory in 2014. They ran 135.72. 135.72 and uh, one of the fastest run champion Philly stakes we've seen in the last number of years. Correct weight is there as well. Admiration Express. 12-1-10-5. Official placings going to race seven. The Euros Hartley's Foundation. Colonel Reeve stakes at group three level as well over the 1100 metres. The star sprinters are engaged. 15 of them. Peter Nucky rides nine in pandemic and very shortly the presentations will be awarded to the winning connections of this year's champion philly stakes winner admiration express trained by jason miller
Well, ladies and gentlemen, the 2022 edition of the Euros Hartley's Champion Philly Stakes has been run and won by the My Admiration Philly Admiration Express. With the presentation of trophy to the winning connections, next up, Scott Embry.